In lab four, everybody will be assigned an unknown. There are four different unknowns. Two of them are orange with a white solid in them, and two of them are yellow with the white solid mixed in with it. And what you will end up doing is separating out the two compounds from whichever unknown you have. One of them is the color you see in your unknown, and the other one is a white sample. Now to do this lab, we will use our separatory funnel from our drawer, and there are two rules when you always use a separatory funnel. The first rule of using a separatory funnel is checking the stopcock and making sure that it is closed. Okay? It ruins your day when you pour something into the separatory funnel, the stopcock is open and it goes all over the countertop. So you make sure the stopcock is closed and the second rule is always have something underneath it for when you forget rule number one. So you add your liquids in there and add your solid and when you do that it'll look like this where you have two very distinct layers. Okay? The bottom layer being the, the orange and the top layer the clear layer and what you'll do is extract away and when you use the separatory funnel you'll gently invert it top to bottom to mix the, the two liquids and every once in a while when it's pointed up open the stopcock to vent it to release the pressure inside it make sure you're not aiming at anybody in the lab when you do that and gently invert it a few times and then vent it and then close the stopcock, stick it back in your ring stand, and take the stopper out of it, and then you're ready to drain the bottom layer out the bottom, okay, being very careful not to go too far, and then the top layer you'll pour out of the top of the separatory funnel, so as what's inside the stopcock that layer doesn't end up going into the the wrong flask as you do it. So you'll always have kind of a mixture of both layers inside your stopcock and then add in whichever layer it tells you to add back in as you're doing your extraction. Now in the experiment it says that you need to filter your stuff when you first add it to the methylene chloride. You don't need to filter it everything will dissolve in the methylene chloride sodium hydroxide solution so just add it all into the SEP funnel only use about two grams if you're in my lab and the jar says how much to use if you use more than that it just ends up creating a lot more waste in the end of the the lab so then you'll add go through and add back in the top layer and extract it with the methylene chloride again. This is your sodium hydroxide layer. The methylene chloride ends up being the, the layer with the, the color in it. And you'll extract a few times and keep extracting until you get all the color out of it. This has a slight tint of orange still in the the organic or in the water layer, so we'll extract a few times to make sure we get as much out as we can and as we extract we'll do that same thing where we add some fresh methylene chloride, put the stopper on, gently invert it a few times, vent it, and drain off the bottom layer into the one flask. So in the end what we have are two flasks, one that has the methylene chloride that we've done all the extractions on, the other is the sodium hydroxide layer, and what we'll do to the methylene chloride layer, we'll get some magnesium sulfate, dry it, and then when it's dry, we'll flute some filter paper and just filter it into a clean, dry Erlenmeyer. And then you'll set that Erlenmeyer in your drawer and next week all the methylene chloride will be gone and you'll have nice looking crystals that you can do the melting point on. The other flask the sodium hydroxide layer will add hydrochloric acid too and you know how much sodium hydroxide you added so you know how much hydrochloric acid that you'll need to add to, to neutralize it. You'll add it in there, you'll get a precipitate to form and then you'll filter it with the, the through your Buchner funnel like you did last week's lab with the, the vacuum aspirator 
and then once you get to that point you stick it in your drawer and let it dry until next week and you can do the melting point on it to identify what your unknowns are and your different instructors will have different samples that you will use so you won't necessarily have an orange sample and a white sample depending on who you have for organic lab.